You know, I had three different problems this week. I had a big stack of pre-flattened flesh lying around and some different colored fur, and a complete lack of friends and someone to keep me company. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a Pikachu. Solve all three of these problems at once. Why do I have Google Drive open? There we go. There it is, all right. I liked that. I like that a lot. Okay. Dude is actually only 16 inches tall according to Wikipedia. So he's gonna be about this tall without ears. With the ears, maybe like this, which is a pretty good size, but still seems a little bit small. I, th I thought like Pikachu would be like, pick him up like, and then he bites you in the face. Cause he's a rat or a mouse or whatever. Just doing a Pikachu would be pretty quick. I think I'd probably whip it up in like 10 minutes or something. So to make it a little challenging, we're putting him on a nice grass stand and we're gonna have a big Pokeball sitting in the stand next to him. So there's like the grass and here's Pikachu and there's a Pokeball right here. And I'll probably sketch something up in post so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, hopefully like perfectly lifelike recreation, really well edited. With the Isabel, we went like full realism. With the Sonic, we went for a hybrid. And although it turned out well, I mean like I don't want to have it displayed in my house per se. I like it, don't get me wrong. Maybe if I put like a display case on it or touched a few things up, maybe I'd be a little more happy with it. But there's a more personalness to displaying something in your house. Putting something on YouTube for two billion people to see, because I get a lot of, I get like two billion viewers. That's like, it's whatever. People do that all the time. But like displaying something in my house me, it means it becomes more of a part of my personality, a part of my identity, and I'm not sure if I'm quite ready for that. There was something about it just didn't quite, uh, didn't represent me, you know? But like this, if I can make this a dead-on replica, I think I'll be more proud of it. Oh, so that's about how wide he is. I know Pikachu pretty well. I'm a Pikachu expert. What in the heck is, what? I, it took me to like, a full five seconds to realize that person had pants on. I need like a all around image I can look around the sides of. I think this works. I mean, he's a little bit like existential, like he's ascending into heaven as we speak. i give him a little bit of a, a rump. Oh, ooh, he's carrying, he's packing heat. We're gonna make it accurate. If Pikachu had a dumper, I'd make a Pikachu dumper, but. Pikachu would actually never be in Japan. I hate, I hate fan art nowadays. Like none of it's ever actually representative of the character it's drawing or showing them doing anything they'd ever do. It's like, I want to draw Sonic. Uh, what does Sonic do? Hmm, probably sticks his feet in Tails' face. Part of making Pikachu anatomy is he needs a little, oh straw to breathe through. Come on, buddy. And a nice scarf to keep him warm. You know, I like to lie a lot in my videos. Not like, I don't want people to actually believe the lies I say, but I like, for the sake of comedy, I do lie a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorite comedies. Now, most of the lies I tell aren't super far-fetched, and so I always think to myself, like, oh, there'll be a couple of people who will believe this, and that'll just make it more funny for me personally. But for the Sonic one, saying that he was an actual, like, physical creation for the whole movie and not CGI was so far-fetched of a joke that I really didn't think a single person would believe it. And they didn't. Like, don't get me wrong, they, no, I didn't convince anybody that the Sonic movie was made differently than it was, but I did convince people that I thought that it was actually that way. And I don't blame them because I am blonde, but like, ouch. This guy's getting a little tall for you. That'll make you look higher. You're growing up, little camera, little goofy camera boy. Stupid. All right, so arms are good. They'll be a little more shapely once we put them on. Next. I'm not talking to you to quit looking. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should be like, make my channel more like Dora the Explorer. Like, hey guys. Do you think it looks like Pikachu? Like, could you imagine if I did that? Imagine that for a second, that the YouTuber you were watching is like constantly talking to you like your little, little boo-boo binky sucking baby. He's like, guys, do you think it looks like Pikachu? Hey guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Guys, where's my phone? Well, guess what? A lot of us do that.
That baby, that was, that was like you guys. Do you want to be treated that way? Is that how you guys want to be treated? So I say we ban all those YouTubers. I'm kidding. Sometimes I do that too. Like sometimes I'll, I'll talk like that, you know? The difference is then I will punish myself for it. I'm thirsty. Bye. And I think it's time for the skin, speaking of which. About to make this guy skinny, being that of skin, you know? And seeing as he won't have fur, he'll be, he might be kind of skin, skin secure about his uh, nudity, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna need more flesh, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry, I turn into a monkey when I think of things I don't want to do. Now I'm just sitting here thinking of how I have to make more flesh pads and I don't wanna. And then I'm not being funny. And no one's laughing and viewer attention is going down. People get mad that I'm giving Pikachu fingers. So I'm just gonna go get it over with. No, you can't watch. Leave me alone. Mom. Viewers are trying to watch me make flesh patties again. Oh. I went to the local meat grinders. I barely know her. Okay, I, was, uh, I had a thought kind of back to my childhood growing up. I never actually played Pokemon games. In fact, to this day, I still have never played like a main series Pokemon game. I've only ever played spin-offs. I was thinking back to like my upbringing, the people I hung around with and how I would get the names of Pokemon wrong because I didn't know them or I just wouldn't say their names at all. And they'd always be like, that's such and such. And they'd always like say it in a way that made me feel very small and like I didn't know much. And for the longest time, I thought it was because those people was, were mean and I was stupid. It was like a mixture of those two problems. But as I've grown up, I've found that it's actually because Pokemon itself is like such a knowledge base, right? If you know about Pokemon, you know about a lot of stuff and you kind of want to show that off. So you're more likely to be corrected in a somewhat aggressive way if you get Pokemon names wrong compared to other things, you know? A silky smooth forehead kind of greasy. He's like a real bald person. The way the lighting is, it's like there's an, there's, uh, there's an eye here and an eye here and a nose here, and this is his mouth and it looks great. I actually like that a lot. <clears throat> this isn't what it looks like, although it actually kind of is. Now I know a lot of you already are looking at this and you're starting to get all outrageously human and developing an opinion on how the mouth looks, because the mouth is kind of a pivotal point of personality in this character. But I want you to remember that this is actually gonna look very, very different once the fur is on it. We're gonna have to jam the fur into this crack and I think it's pretty solid. Relax right there, buddy. You just take a nice relaxing nap and when you wake up, you'll be cooked. Here he is. I had to cut his ear off. Uh, he wouldn't quite fit in the oven, like, width-wise. But uh, he's, he's quite fine now. Now for the fur, I was big smart guy this time, and I cut it ahead of time. And I did... <sighs> I hate this. All right, so remember how there was a guy who said, every time you cut that fur, I cringe, and I got real uppity about it, because mean comment on the internet and, and my ego I didn't like it very much. Uh, but it turns out there is a better method to cutting the fur than what I was doing. That is to go with the grain of it while lifting it up and going like, like this. And so I did that and it actually looks quite a bit better and I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I gotta, I gotta apologize to that guy. You know who you are. Ah, just kidding, I don't care. So, where's my black acrylic? Honey? Where is my... Wake up, Pikachu. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. Now I've just got little bits of spit on his face, so that's great. Just like that. Look at him. Ah! And I'm using a gentle amount of hot glue today. It's gonna be very, like, Detective Pikachu, I think. Wow, who would've thought? I was thinking the same thing with the, with the Sonic that I made. Of course it's gonna look like movie Sonic. It's the realistic Sonic. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, am I ever good at YouTube. 
Anyway, it, of course it's gonna look like movie Sonic. It's the realistic version of Sonic. That's what they're supposed to do for the movie. So, Detective Pikachu doesn't really... It's not like he doesn't look like Pikachu. It's not like he's a different looking version of Pikachu. He's just Pikachu, but realistic. I'm stupid, you're stupid, we're all stupid. Oh my... Okay, now this thing's dead. Why is this thing dead? Fine, I'll time-lapse it if the universe is telling me to do so. Alright, we turn the lights down for... <coughs> We're turning the lights down for one second here. So a lot of the process making these uh, is stuff done off-camera because it's extremely time-consuming and boring and uninteresting. And sometimes I just don't think you guys deserve to see it. If I'm, not, if I'm doing something that takes an extended period of time, I do the same thing as anyone else. I, I put my earbuds in my ear and I listen to repeats of, of every Sonic song. I do have a video here we're gonna watch. It's called, it's called, it's called Stand. And this is me making a display case for the Pikachu with like the grass and, and it's, I got some plexiglass. I'll, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys. So, okay, uh, this is, so the, okay, this is the Dremel. And this is, yeah, I'll play it, I'll play it. First I had to cut the wood and that was a pretty interesting. Uh, then I was cutting the plastic the, the plexiglass, and I got this router. It's pretty cool. It's not like the, uh... Hold on, I gotta do a joke. It's not the internet router. <clears throat> and I use this to kind of get the edges smooth and, and angled so that the, the pieces of glass would connect on the corners, like, the, like see, like that. And you can see I peeled a little bit off there. That's what it actually looks like. It actually doesn't look brown. Uh, it just looked brown from a distance because uh, it just looked brown because there was a cover on it. So here's the whole thing. <clears throat> uh, and I actually really hated it. So I ended up just scrapping it completely and making something completely different. Uh, that's me. I used the router again and I, lather, I lathered some stuff on it and there's the grass. And that was my, that was it. That was my reaction. Uh... Oh, being a Twitch streamer is easy. But came out like this. Pretty good. Uh, lighting's not very good in here, so maybe no one can see it. Let's hit those. Let's hit those. Let's hit those. Let's hit those. Pikachu's going to be right here. And there, I have a Pokeball that I'm that I'm making, and it's going to be right here. And when that Pokeball is done, I'll do a little reaction video of that, too. I think that would be right. Yeah. And now I'm going to do this first stuff off camera. And, and most likely I'm just going to go to bed after that, so... Good night, sleep tight. Don't let me kill you out of spite. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this. Are you are you looking? Do you see this? It's him. Look at this, huh? What more do you want from me? I physically can't I could not do it any better than this. I, I think I've peaked. Like not not even in this series, but like in life in general. Let's go! I want to show you guys real quick uh, the process of it. Because I really thought it was actually pretty interesting. What I ended up doing is uh, I put, I took, I, I, so here's what I did. Yeah, I just did that for about two and a half hours. And uh, so here he is on his stand. Pretty sturdy for the most part. I mean, he's not gonna fall over. Right now, what we gotta do is the tail. We just gotta get the scale right. I'm gonna cut out a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna cut out some foam. And we're just gonna put more fur on it. It's pretty basic stuff. We got some foam. Some of you might recognize this stuff from, from pillows and mattresses. So we're doing something like this. And you might ask yourself, which of the 500 lines I'm gonna follow? My brain knows. And what I'm thinking is, we do two of these and we actually switch this to a tail yeah we're not even using the foam i thought we would but now the only purpose of it being in the video is the the funny the funny mattress pillow joke i made which i kind of like okay i'm gonna put fur on this all right tail done pretty solid shaved it all nice and groomly <sighs> let me consult my model here all right so the tail goes about Right about here. I don't know, I'm just going. This looks worse than it is. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's good and I like it. I'm gonna say that. When? I'll let you know. Now the Pokeball. <laughs> oh boy, let me tell you. We gotta do a fun slideshow again. 
All right, all right, check this out. Hey guys, what's up? Another reaction video. Pause, 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 intro. Hey guys. All right, here's a resin orb I made. I made two of these, because Pokeballs require two halves of a half circle. That's the secret to making a circle. This is me making the centerpiece out of resin. I was covered in a bunch of stuff after it, and I thought I'd put this in here because like, if, if we were friends and you knew me in real life, I thought you, you guys would find that like kind of quirky and maybe like subconsciously like me more as a human because of funny kind of relatable thing. I do, I kind of stood there for a while too. Okay, so then I had to make the circle and I just dremeled that by hand. So it's not like machine precision, like the molds and, and the lathing and everything, but and you can't really see what's going on because it's too fast, but it ended up looking pretty good. Put it in the shot, Peter. I used the lid from a pill bottle and a button off a controller for that, and then I painted it. I did a lot more, but I guess the footage wasn't there. And here is how the Pokeball turned out. And it's not perfect, like the paint job could be a little better. The paint for the red part, it's like kind of transparent, so you can see through, it looks like a crystal ball kind of thing. This part turned out real good. Uh, everything else is like, fairly solid. It's, again, it's not like machine precision, but it's pretty much the exact size and everything I wanted. Uh, I like the weight to it. It's, it's pretty heavy if you can gain from that. And all I really wanted was to like have this sitting like that. Like I say, it's a little scritchy on the top because I didn't let the paint completely dry because I'm impatient. I was trying to do this in a, over the course of three days, which is not easy. I work really hard, guys. And I need to express that on the internet because I need validation from complete strangers, despite the fact that I have friends and family who might possibly be able to give me that validation. I choose to uh, express it on the internet instead, probably leading to less closeness with the people who are in my actual life, and that's kind of the retrospective problem with social media, at least on my life, despite generally being able to cope pretty well with it. I, I think that's... Uh, so moving on. All right, we're getting down to it. Two things here, the eyes and the cheeks. Cheek placement, very important here. I'm gonna take several references. They look generally perfectly lined up with the center of his mouth. They are four inches and a half apart. Diameter is about 2.2 inches. It's actually perfect. That's fantastic. Don't touch it, Peter. Cool. I think I pricked myself. I feel like I just almost got hit by a car. That's the kind of intensity I'm feeling right now. Then like, instead of getting hit by the car, the car gave me like a million dollars instead. Unfortunately, the last thing we have to do is still gonna have room for me to make this look horrible and horrifying. The eyes. I think I pricked myself. This is them. I tried to polish them as much as I could, but this is as shiny as I could get them. And I think I have to just put the eye shines on it anyways, just not even because I, I think it'll look bad without that, but more importantly, that's like, that's my thing at this point. It's mine. I'm the only person who has those. Important section here. Ow! Now I'm not gonna move, you get your own footage. It's funny as I look at this, because it's really not like, it doesn't feel like a dead accurate replica of Pikachu, even though like I measured everything and did everything perfectly. I think that's because it's like, I think, I think it's because Pikachu's not real. And, and so if he was real, it would be like a different entity and that's what it feels like. But it's like, it's got its own soul, you know? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I did pretty good this time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the other ones. Look at this guy. Oh, is my projector not going? Oh, how long has that not been going? I think I gotta redo the video. 